I'm still getting used to this thing. Still don't fully tr trust myself carrying my camera and writing at the same time. I got this for my 30th birthday, Abby. Yeah, she picked it up for me and it's pretty freaking amazing. But I know you guys are here for the title of the video. I got a few different things that we're gonna talk about today. Uh, one, I'm riding this thing. Two, the Grom series is starting on Monday, assuming nothing goes wrong. I've got most of the episode filmed. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I started a build series for a Honda Grom, and I started it a long time ago. For a variety of reasons, we've had to stop it a few different times, but it's back, and it's back for good. Once we start this, we're gonna be completing it uh, straight through. No breaks other than maybe like a week or two here if we're like waiting on parts or something like that. But for the most part, I've got all the parts. But Monday, the build starts. And again, if you're new here or you didn't know, it's a giveaway bike. So at the end of the series, we're gonna be giving the bike away. If you wanna win the bike, head over to Patreon, um, start your support. And uh, at the end of the series, you might have a 300cc swapped Grom. I'm a... Uh, Oh man, I've been so eager to get this thing started and we're finally gonna do so. But um, there's a few different things that I wanted to talk about with it. Uh, one, if you missed Fry, he's back in the series and he's gonna be working on the Grom with me through the whole thing. Uh, he helped me with the CRF Supermoto build series as well as the uh, the Honda Ruckus series. He helped uh, for an episode two of the R3 series, if I, if I remember correctly. Um, but he's gonna be here in the, uh, in the series for the Grom the whole time. So that is amazing because he, these builds are so much more fun when I've got him around to do the builds with me. Two, of course, we've got the new build garage where we're gonna be doing all the builds. This is one of the things that uh, was the recent delay because we moved houses and I had to build out the garage before we could start the series. And now you guys kept asking, when's the Grom coming back? When's the Grom coming back? And no matter how many times I said it, we were waiting until I finished out the garage so we would have an awesome garage um, to do all of our builds. Another thing, and probably the main reason that you clicked on this video, there's something that I haven't been telling you guys. And uh, you're about to find out right now. That, that just happened. Hey, you. Hey. What's going on? It's fixing my door. You, mi you missed my wipeout. I landed. Oh. I landed. I but but I, I, did, I did wipe out. I haven't quite mastered going up, well, really any object. Uh, his, his driveway is a little bit taller than anything that I've done so far. I probably should get some sort of like guard for the bottom. I know they make them. Probably should have bought that before I started scraping the thing up. Yeah, that's okay. It's all beat up. Yeah, here's here's the secret. Fry, uh, yeah, we live in the same neighborhood now, which is pretty amazing. I haven't told you yet, told you guys. What has it been, like three months since I moved into my house and I haven't told told you guys yet? If you don't know Fry, which, which you should, but here's Fry. He used to do YouTube. He doesn't do YouTube anymore. But yeah, he uh, was in the Supermoto build series working on that with me. He helped me out with the Ruckus build series. Uh, a, a couple episodes maybe with the R3 series, but he's back for good in the Grom series. There's gonna be lots of smells. There's gonna be lots of noises. Yeah. And uh, it's gonna more, be a good time. We got more tools now. We do, we have lots more tools and a lot more space. Yeah, I, uh, I came over here to Fry's place because we actually have to do a little something for the series. So if you wanna see that, make sure you watch the video on Monday. I'll tease it for you guys. I gotta move these, or remove these bearings, bushings from the uh, swing arm on the Grom because we're gonna be getting everything powder coated. And uh, Fry over here says he has a press that we can use. So I brought my swing arm in a trash bag inside my backpack. And we're gonna take these things out and uh, yeah. So yeah, Fry, um, Fry's door came off and like not intentionally. You just opened your door and it fell off. I went to close the door and that's where it landed. Do you have these on a plug or no? Yes, I have to remove the kick panel. Mm -hmm. So I figured I can access this and all it was, there's this pin that goes in here. So these doors, someone made these removable at some point. That is, um, that does not look up to code. This whole hinge has come off before, as you can probably tell. If I was smart, I'd probably fill this in right now, but you know, I'm not a smart man. Fry has two Jeeps. He recently picked up this thing over here, which is what, 2018? 2018 JK, this, two door. This might, this might surprise you but I got kind of tired of having to fix this thing all the time on the trail. He always said that he would never buy 
one of the Jeeps from my generation, so I used to have a Jeep, but mine was a four-door. And yeah, here he is with one of the, <laughs> It's not one of the new, new ones. I really want to get a JL. Actually, I want to get a Gladiator, but regardless, he bought one, and now he has, uh, has this, this thing for fun times and daily times. You want to show me something? Yeah, watch this. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> oh, is that the compressor? Yeah. I was like, you've you've disturbed something. We're quarantine buddies. We were already hanging out every day otherwise, so now we're just our only friends to hang out with because we never go anywhere. So check this check this out. Fry built himself his own bumper for for his Jeep. Don't look at the welds. Yeah, it's um hey. You're a professional. I'm a professional. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's not bad. It's a, it's a pretty cool stubby bumper. If you think that I should get my own XJ, <laughs> so we can be twins. You can tell I got decent penetration. We finished up the, uh, the Grom stuff. I'm gonna head on back to my house, which will just take a few minutes because we live next to each other now. So if you wanna see uh, what we did, that'll be in the Grom episode on Monday, along with other stuff that we did in that episode. Coming every Monday will be the Build Series Grom episodes. Fry, I will see you soon. My hands are dirty. I was just working on the Grom. Boom. Smooth dismount. I can dismount like a pro over and over again on grass, but still working on it on the street. It's hard to balance there for a second while the motor disengages. All right, so as you guys know, I went down on the CRF in the last video and looking over the bike, I just noticed a couple things that I hadn't done um, that I've been meaning to do. And one of those things is replacing the phone mount that I have on the bike. I use Ram mounts. I really like the functionality and the versatility of the products that they have. This is not paid by the way, I don't have any communication or relationship with Ram mount. Uh, I just really like the phone mount that they have and I've never had an issue. Uh, I've gone down a couple times on my bikes with the Ram mount and my phones never come out of the X-Grip phone mount they make. And the thing that I like about it is I don't have to have any sort of case uh, on my phone. It doesn't matter if I get a new phone, I can always just put my phone right in without worrying about using some sort of proprietary case or anything like that. This is the X-Grip mount that I use. I made a video way back when I first got this set up. I used it on my R1. I picked up one of these new mounts that they make. This is the one that I have on there right now. It's kind of like a universal mount for basically like any size handlebar. So this is it right there. It's got like this U bracket that goes through the mount and then you just put on these nuts, tightens it down. And then this is the one inch ball mount that basically all of Ram Mount's uh, products mount to. You just get the, uh, the length of extension that you want for the arm. I'll have all of these things listed down in the description. So if you wanna pick this up, you know uh, exactly what I'm putting on here. I'm gonna get this new one swapped over because as you can see, uh, I've been using this one for like four years, five years maybe, um, and it's seen better days. The new version, uh, and I don't even know if it's a new version or if it's just a different kind. This kind has a bracket on each side, the nuts go on the bottom, and then you just can screw in the screws from the top. I guess you could do it e either direction if you wanted to. I plan to mount it right here, but now that I look at that, I don't even know if it's gonna fit. So this right here is an iPhone 11 Pro Max. So that gives you a, a general idea of how big of a phone this can fit. And this right here is my OnePlus 8 Pro. Thinner phone, but a lot taller. Definitely a lot cleaner of a mount than this one is. I don't even know if they still sell this. I don't know if the this mount over here, the new one is a replacement. All I know is I bought this one a long time ago. I took a look at what they had available now and I found these. Uh, I'll link it 
down in the description. Again, you just need to know the diameter of your handlebar and then get the right size mount for your handlebar. But yeah, I really like how this mounts up. Now, on my old one, the thing that myself and a lot of other people did is actually super glue these rubber tips onto the X grip mount because they don't come that way. But now it looks like they're providing it. Um, I set it down somewhere. I never had the problem myself, but I know some people either just for peace of mind or because they had it come off on them. But regardless, they uh, come with this little thing of super glue. So you can super glue those tips, leave them to dry. I recommend overnight and uh, you're good to go. Those tips are never coming off. And again, I've been riding with an X grip on my bikes for years. And through multiple times of going down on my bikes, I've never had my phone come out of it. But yeah, I really like the X-Grip. I know there's a couple other really popular phone mount companies. Uh, Quadlock is one, and I think the other one is Rockform. And they're a little bit cleaner of a look. So with those, and the thing that I don't like about them is you have to get one of their cases. And then the case has an actual like hole mount in the back of it. So you put your phone onto the onto the mount, you twist it, and then it's locked in. It looks cleaner because you don't have the tips around the side of it. But what I don't like about it is that you have to have their case. And I'm really particular about cases on my phones if I'm using a case at all. And so for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just not a fan of using one of the bulky cases that always has that on the back. This way, it doesn't matter what phone you're using, whether you swap between other phones, whether you have a friend jump on your bike and wants to put their phone in there, it doesn't matter. You always can put your phone in here and that's what I like about the X Grip. So that's that. Uh, I just felt like installing that right now. The big thing though is that the Grom series returns Monday. If this video goes up when I think it will, That'll be tomorrow. I'll link it down in the description when the video goes live. So regardless of when you watch this, it'll be there for you. But yeah, like I mentioned, the Grom series is gonna be a giveaway bike. So if you want a chance to win, head over to Patreon. Every dollar that you support counts towards your entries to win the bike. So if you wanna get in it from the start or from the restart, make sure you get your support in before the episode on Monday. Every single episode that goes out, you'll get more entries to win if you're supporting over on Patreon. Other than that, you guys have been awesome. I hope you enjoyed the video. Can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. I've been Modenasi. Remember, life's better with horsepower. Keep life lived, and I'll see you guys in the next one.